Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Well, it's a hot day in Alabama. It's over 100 and it's over 80% humidity. And I'm not supposed to be out in it just yet. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to work on some projects. And I thought I'd like to share this with you to see if you might have had a similar idea or similar interest. Now, I like open L knives. As you know, they're a, a knife that comes out of France. They're based on the old penny knife, and they use a twist lock to lock them, and they're pretty simple, you know, not really any springs or anything to go wrong. And they make a very good knife as far as for cutting slicing. They're not a batoning knife or a beating on knife, but it's a really good knife, and I've mentioned it in several of my videos. Well, I got a wild idea, and I was looking up open L modifications. And I was looking at the various things people do of reshaping and etc. This is my Open L number 12. And it's one of my favorite camp knives. Open it up. It's got this really wicked little tip that acts almost like a fillet knife. I can fillet fish with it, cutting up meat. You know, the stuff around camp when you're processing food. Very, very good for that. I like it for peeling. I like it for dicing, slicing. You know, the uh, campfire ginsu. This knife I've had for quite a while, and it's a number 10, and it's the one I like for as far as open L's as a pocket knife. It's big enough, but I've always wanted to modify this tip just a little bit because it's a, that little wicked back curve. It, not where I want it. I want it more like a drop point for, you know, cutting and, and doing fireboards and things like that. So I want to modify that. This is a stainless steel blade. This is a carbon blade. Well, I was looking at YouTube, and I happened upon this one gentleman out of England who was making a modification. And here's what he did. He took an existing whatever size open L and another open L and then combined them into a two-blade open L. And I got to thinking about that. You know, that'd be pretty cool. And then it dawned on me. If I took my number 12 and I took my number 10 and I combined and put both blades onto the same knife and modified my number 10 to be more of a craft knife for carving and stuff like that, I would have my camp cooker and my craft pocket knife together. And as I was laying that out and looking at it, I had another little idea. I noticed how the blades went together. These are fairly thick blades, but the number 12 is so meaty, there's a lot you can put in here. And yeah, it will go in there side and side once you relieve it. There's enough wood, and it will fit in the collar. That's not going to be a problem. But in looking at that, I got to thinking, you know, a saw blade. A reciprocating saw blade is actually a piece of spring steel and therefore it will bend and come back to shape because it's got to be moving high speed and if it hits a nail it'd shatter if it wasn't flexible. This also means you could turn it into a knife or whatever later on. But it also means I could put this because it is so thin between these two blades and then I would have one that would be a camp knife a carving craft knife and a saw all in one. Will it work? I don't know. That's what you and I are about to find out. I've done a little bit of prep work before the video. First thing I did was I pried off the locking collar and then I took a punch and a small anvil and I took the peg hook out so I could get the blades out. This will also allow me to finish the wood. I'm going to make some marks on here and some modification. We're going to go through that step by step. But when you line up the blades, and I'm going to pull you in close here in a minute for you to see, like that, and I'll let you see a lot closer. The number 10 fits, it's the same, almost the same width. Maybe a thickness of a nickel narrower. It's just shorter, and I can round that point up like I want. And then this reciprocating saw blade, when you line up the holes, 
it's just a grunt longer. I'll cut the saw blade to fit. I put the saw blade between the two knife blades and that's how thick it is. It's about, I'll measure it exactly, but it's between an eighth, a little over an eighth maybe. I think I can do it. Stay with me. Let's see what we can do today. Be right back.